What is up guys? We got another live for you today. I'm doing a tier that I haven't done before ever on this channel actually. This is going to be the first time I've played this tier before. I I have a little bit of experience in it, very little, but nonetheless I have played it before just not on the channel and that is Ubers as you guys can see on your screen. Uh, we're bringing a really cool team that I found on the forums. Uh, I'm just going to bring up the uh, the team right here. Uh, team made by Hi time to battle high time to battle sorry about that uh so it's a really cool team i made a couple of modifications uh if you go here on the thread you'll see that his last mon was a mega lucario i decided to swap that out for a uh a mega deancey as you guys can see right here uh, i felt like having hazard prevention as well as hazard removal he didn't initially have defog on this latios set but having those two forms of hazard control really help out venomoth because it is a focus sash quiver dance set uh now its only move is sludge bomb which is uh, resisted or uh immune by a lot of pokemon in the tier so it doesn't put in a lot of, of work itself but it does have baton pass which is really nice because if you're able to get off a of baton pass into deancey with plus special defense uh plus special attack and plus speed that is insane this thing runs house on everything in the tier uh it does get calm mind itself but wasting a slot for that isn't really optimal so this is really cool soul dual audios this thing hits like a truck with draco meteor man it's basically choice specs Latios with increased special defense very nice we have a uh, an rcs ground here with no evs and i was using this thing before that's interesting hold on a second why doesn't he have any, any evs on his rcs all right well we're gonna make this thing max special attack uh enough speed how much speed do i want on this thing is 339 enough uh i want to be able to outspeed what latios i guess we'll go to uh, 351 with this uh because it uh it's got like four attacks so i think that should be enough uh we'll go to uh yeah i think that should be good 351 uh can we hit that without being no i don't think we can so 176 speed uh, 252 and then we'll put the rest in HP because that's always nice 401 uh, if we had sub it wouldn't be able to be broken so that's kind of cool but we don't uh, but this is a very nice set obviously uh, I didn't know it didn't have EVs and I was using it in test games so that's very interesting I uh, got a max attack max HP just slash we, uh, we cover Venomoth and of course Groudon mix Groudon with Lava Plume Precipice Blade Stone Edge and Stealth Rocks uh, very nice with a Quiver Dance as well Lava Plume destroys in the sun so uh, let's uh, let's hit up the ladder let's see what we can do with this team I spent enough talk uh, time talking aren't too many people in ubers unfortunately we can check out the active battles here uh ubers okay well we got one right away uh maybe there are quite a few people but uh, i see a couple of big threats such as uh, mega salamence never mind we're not playing this game let's hop into the next one our opponent just forfeited immediately that was uh, very unfortunate uh okay so this looks like a very very annoying team i see ninjask uh what what is that thing called smeargle and shuckle uh, and those three together, like, they just look like the most annoying core to deal with in the world. I'm going to lead off here probably with, um, with Groudon, because uh, he leads with Shuckle. That's very nice. We will go straight for our rocks. They're going to hinder the Ninjask switch-ins. Uh, I can hit this thing later, so he's gonna go for a toxic. That's absolutely fine We'll just go for a lava plume here. It's neutral and it's in the Sun. It's gonna do a nice 43% We are gonna get the burn which is very nice. He's gonna go for infestation uh, And he's going to get his citrus berry. It looks like uh, Yep, that is what happened and we're just gonna go for precipice blades here uh, Do 41% to this thing. He's gonna go for a shell smash increases defenses lowers speed But it's not gonna be enough to take another lava plume and we are gonna knock out the shuckle now I don't necessarily want to let Groudon go down because it can still take a bullet punch from a neutral scissor So I think I'm gonna switch out. Uh, maybe not on the steelix. Maybe not uh, I'm not sure we do have an RCS ground though, so I'm gonna go directly into that as He's going to go for a roar, which is absolutely fine. He's gonna get us back in a Groudon, which is not fine uh, I'm just gonna go for Lava Plume this time. Gonna get off some damage on the Steelix. Uh, might even be able to knock it out. Uh, actually, yeah, if he doesn't have Spideff Investment, yeah, that's going straight down. There we go. Awesome. So we're able to knock that thing out. A little bit uh, troublesome with Scizor still around, but I think that Baton passing a Quiver Dance into Arceus might be the play. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna go straight into Venomoth. And he's gonna go into Smeargle, actually. Uh, so he might want to Dark Void us. Either way, I think I'm just gonna go for... Uh, Quiver Dance right here. We'll see what he wants to do. If he puts us to sleep, that's okay. It's not a huge deal. He's gonna go for a Sleep Powder. He misses, unfortunately. So I'm not gonna Baton Pass this into anything until he actually puts me to sleep. And then I'm just gonna click Baton Pass repeatedly until we can actually get this off into Arceus. 
Uh, we'll see what he wants to do here. He does go for the Sleep Powder again. Lands it this time, that's fine. We're gonna go for a Quiver Dance on the first turn because it doesn't really matter. He's gonna go for a Shell Smash, so a little bit scary. I'm gonna go for a Baton Pass here. We should be okay though. Uh, plus two attack, hmm, Scizor looking kind of scary, kind of scary, <laughs> not gonna lie, but uh, we should be okay, we should be good to go. Let's see, he's definitely got Baton Pass, I don't know if he's going to spam Sleep Powder, he's actually gonna sub, okay, well, I'm just gonna uh, Quiver, okay, we're not gonna wake up, he's gonna go for a Baton Pass, unfortunately, we are Sash though, so we will be able to pass this into anything, he's gonna go into Rhyperior, actually, uh, and we are going to, we should still be faster than this, Definitely. So I'm going to baton pass this turn as we wake up. And we're going to shoot this right out into Arceus. We keep our Sash, which is nice. Uh, and he goes for an Earthquake. That is going to do way too much. Whoa, okay. Well then, <laughs> let's go for Judgment. Uh, we'll break this thing's sub with the Judgment. And then we'll be able to Grass Knot it, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, I'm running out of ways to deal with his Scizor, though. And that's kind of getting scary. I think Aegislash can take it on if it's not knockoff, though. So I'm just going to go Latios here. Uh, and he is faster than us, unfortunately, unless he's not max speed, which I don't see why he wouldn't be. Uh, but I'm gonna go for a Grass Knot. We are faster, and we're able to knock out his Rhyperior, luckily. Whew! Dodged a bullet there. <laughs> this is an extremely annoying team to deal with, wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Our opponent's gonna forfeit, so that's gonna be a first win for us, a first real win. I'm not counting that first one. So, uh, we're 1-0 right now. Uh, my opponent decides to bring a mostly, uh... OU team, I guess? I don't even know what to call this. He's got like a mix of everything. The only Uber on his team is Lando. Don't underestimate this, however, because he does have the Heatran plus Venusaur. So that's, look that's looking very scary. Uh, I'm not going to lead with uh, Groudon this game because he has the Lando and that just gives him way too much momentum. So what I'm actually going to do is lead off with... I wish I had Ice Beam on something. I'm going to lead off with Lottie. As he leads with Heatran, so I guess good play on my opponent's part. Uh, he's got a Balloon, so I'm going to switch out directly into Groudon. Uh, actually, no, I'm going to Psy Shock first. I'm going to Psy Shock to break the Balloon. It's going to do a nice 24%. Uh, he's going to get up Stealth Rocks. I'm actually just going to Defog these away immediately, because I do not want these up right here. He might think we're mixed attacking with Earthquake, so he might want to switch out. We'll see, though. Uh, he's actually going to pull a switch into Amanda Buzz. That's fine. We're going to get off this Defog right here. He is a at 100%, but that's okay. We will go straight into Deancey here, because we don't lose anything. His Heatran is now weakened. He's actually going to go straight for the Toxic, so maybe we did lose something there. Um, I like just Moonblasting, even though he has a, a Venusaur and a Heatran, uh, because we do get off damage on this Mana Buzz, and we are able to knock it out straight away, so that's awesome. That's That was one of the big things uh, keeping me from putting on a lot of pressure on his team. He's actually going to go straight into Mean Shao. Now, I'm assuming this thing is Scarf by the way it's come in, so I'm just going to go for Protect here, assuming he'll High Jump Kick. Uh, he actually goes for a Poison Jab, okay. I'm not sure if that'll actually knock us out, even from here. But I'm not going to take a chance. I can just go into Venomoth here. Uh, if he doesn't have a Rock move, he will not be able to knock us out on the following turn. I'm assuming he has a Rock move, but anyway, we'll see. Uh, we'll, we'll attempt to Quiver, and then we'll pass into uh, Arceus and try to win. He's going to go for the Poison Jab. Again, okay, so he's not Scarfed. He's just Life Orb. So I guess he thought he figured he was faster than Deancey. Uh, cause Deancey typically doesn't run that much speed in this tier, it just runs enough to outspeed base 100s. So, I'll just go for a, uh, for a Quiver right here. We'll see if he actually has anything to hit us with. If he knocks out Venomoth, it's not a huge deal. I mean, I, I have ways of dealing with this thing. He has, he is gonna switch into Electivire, actually. And, uh, we're just going to pull a Baton Pass into Arceus right now. Uh, with this plus one Spadef, we can definitely take, uh, Lando's hits a lot better from that sheer force life orb earth power, which is always scary. Uh, and we can probably two it KO it, realistically. Uh, maybe not, maybe not, we'll see though. We are just gonna go for the, uh... yeah, cause I'm, I'm assuming he's physical. Uh, he's probably gonna go for wild charge or something of the sort. He doesn't know what kind of Arce uh, Arceus we are yet. So we'll go straight on into that. And uh, with the plus one speed, he's gonna earthquake. <clears throat> it's not gonna do too terribly much. And uh, I could just sludge bomb here predicting his Lando to come in. I might switch the T-Bolt up for uh, for Ice Beam, but then we don't hit uh, Kyogre as hard. Um, do I just want to Judgment on this turn? No, you know what? I'm going to go for Sludge Bomb. Uh, that way, at least I can weaken the Lando a little bit. We know that Venomoth can switch into his, uh, his Mean Shell from the looks of things. Uh, we are just going to get off this Sludge Bomb. It's not going to do too much. I was kind of playing off of the Poison there. But he won't be able to knock us out unless he's got some sort of physical move that he's rocking. So I'm just going to go for Shadow Ball here. 
We will be able to outspeed this even if he scarfed. Uh, we actually get a crit on that, so a little unfortunate for my opponent. He is physical. He is going to go for Earthquake, uh, but we still outspeed his whole team. So I'm just going to go for another Shadow Ball right here. Uh, he, there's nothing he can really switch in right now. And I can even keep this, this weakened Arcus, uh, to deal with his, um, his Heatran and whatnot. That Mean Shao is going to take so much damage. Uh, and I'm just going to go for another... Uh, okay, he's got Fake Out. All right. Um... Uh, yeah, I clicked Sludge Bomb by accident. I didn't want to do that, but anyway. Uh, I'm assuming he's Regenerator with Life Orb. So I'm just going to go for a Judgment here. Trying to catch the Venusaur as we do. Awesome. And that's going to do 74%. Put him in range of Sludge Bomb right here. As that is going to be able to knock out his Venusaur. We do have an Aegislash. So I could switch into that on the Fake Out. Which is what I'm assuming is coming my way. Uh, I definitely want to keep Arceus, so I am just going to go into Age of Slash right here, as he is going to click Fake Out. Awesome. Uh, and I think I'm just going to Shadow Sneak for damage on the Heatran, honestly, as he's going to stay in, actually, and let his Mean Shao go down. So that's really cool. That was the only thing that was actually faster than our Arceus, um, unless he is Scarf Lando. Like, that's the only way that he outspeeds us. Um, Heatran's going to come in. It's not a huge deal, but it can get up rocks. So that's a little bit obnoxious. I think I'm actually just going to sh Shadow Sneak because I don't have any need for Aegislash anymore. He's going to Flamethrower and knock us out. It's not a big deal. We're going to go hard into Deante, I think. Yeah, because basically what I'm going to do is Earth Power here. Uh, if he switches into Lando, I'm going to Protect to see what he locks himself into. He does go into Lando. I'm going to Protect right here. I'm going to take a, a little bit of additional Poison, but with all these Ground-type moves across my team... Uh, I'll be able to knock out his Heatran and his Electivire very easily. He's going to go for Earthquake. Uh, I'm going to pull a switch out into my Lottie right here. His Heatran does take 24 to 26-ish percent uh, from a mid-roll Psyshock, so I'm not too worried. Uh, and I'm assuming he's Scarfed. I could calc the damage from Earthquake, but I don't really feel like doing that, to be honest. Uh, we know he's not Life Orb. Uh, because we didn't see him take damage from going for Earthquake. He just goes for it again. Awesome. Uh, we're just going to go for a Psy Shock right here. We're going to be able to pick up, not a kill necessarily, because Heatran will live too, from the looks of things. Uh, he might not be able to live a um, a Psy Shock into Draco Meteor, though. And that that's what I think is important. He has, actually is not Scarfed, and he lets his Lando go down, which is the only thing that could take a, a Judgment at this point. Uh, gotta watch out for Electivire, because this could be... No, it's Life Orb. We know it's Life Orb. Okay. Yeah, I can just go for Draco here. I'm going to knock his Electivire out, and then uh, his Heatran comes in, but, I mean, we have Arceus Ground at 8%. It still comes in on rocks. I can just go for Psy Shock, and he doesn't have leftovers, so he's going to take a little bit of damage at a time, but I can continuously defog the rocks away, so it's not a big deal. He's actually going to go for uh, Flash Cannon right there. I'm just going to knock this thing out. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to go into Arceus. I'm going to let it go down, make this game a little bit faster, take the Flash Cannon, go into DNC, click Earth Power, and win. And that's how we're going to close off the game. We know he was Air Balloon, so there's no point in dragging this out any longer. Our, our live from yesterday was ridiculously long for, for three games, guys. I apologize for that again. My opponent seems to have a very, very uber-looking team. Like, this is, uh, this is what I expect to see up here. These kinds of teams. But he gets demolished by Arceus. Uh, with a Quiver Dance up. Like, absolutely destroyed. It kills everything. Um, kills Bisharp, kills Groudon, kills uh, his own Arceus. I keep switching between the name Arceus and Arceus because, like, nobody really knows how to say that, <laughs> to be honest. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lead off with something that is threatening to his uh, Darkrai, which is which, which would be Deancey, realistically. He's going to lead off with Ferrothorn. I'm assuming he has Gyro Ball. I'm just going to protect on turn 1 to get off the Mega. Uh, he should attack me right here. He goes for Stealth Rock and it gets bounced back at him, which is awesome. And uh, now we're just going to go out into Groudon. And he should, in theory, attack here. So we'll see what he wants to do. Uh, as he is going to... I hope click Gyro Ball. He goes for Toxic. Okay, that's kind of... That's a strange play, but alright. Uh, I don't have to Stealth Rocks anymore, which is nice. Uh, and I actually just want to go for Lava Plume. Uh, because I don't fear Kyogre coming in. I have checks the Kyogre in uh, Soul Dew, Latios, uh, other different things. But Kyogre is going to come in now. Uh, it should be faster than us. We're actually a minus speed nature. And I'm just going to go straight into Lottie. 
Uh, Grass Knot does knock this thing out, I believe. Uh, Origin Pulse is only going to do 31%, and we're going to go straight for the Grass Knot. Uh, this might be a lure to bring in Bisharp. Uh, he actually goes Darkrai, though, so that's nice. We're able to get off a lot of damage on that. Why did that do so much? 58%? What? Yo, how heavy is Darkrai? <laughs> Alright, um, I think just going into Deancey is a fine play. Because we resist his stab, uh, and we bounce back his Dark Void, so he goes to sleep. Uh, which is nice, and now we can just fire off a Moon Blast for free at this point. Uh, we do know he's Primal um, Kyogre and not Scarfed, so we outspeed that. Um, the only thing I'm kind of worried, ab worried about is E-Killer. Um, yeah, that's that's the big thing. I don't want to lose to that. He's actually going to bring in Bisharp here, which is ab absolutely fine. Uh, we'd knock out his Bisharp straight away. And that obviously was not AV. And uh, I guess... Ground on? No, Arceus Fairy? Yeah, Arceus Fairy. Alright. What do you got for me, man? Uh, I'm gonna go hard into Venomoth, because at this point, what happens is that I get up uh, my Toxic Spikes, and his Groudon and his Kyogre get weakened immensely and really quickly. He's gonna go for uh, Shadow Force right there. I'm gonna go for a Quiver Dance on this turn. Shadow Force won't be able to knock me out. And what we can do is actually Baton Pass this out into... Probably, I want to say Deancey. Um, I think we can take a Shadow Force. We can definitely take a Judgment. We already know that. Yeah, I think Deancey is fine because Primal Groudon's special defense is not all that. So I should be able to sweep with Deancey right here. Mega Deancey might even get the thumbnail, which is kind of unfortunate because I want to kind of disguise that this is a uh, that this is a Uber's live. <laughs> like I don't I don't want to disguise. I want you guys to see it. Whoa! Shadow Force goes through Protect. I had no idea. Wow. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to Moonblast right here. We're not going to be able to take out his Arceus. Uh, he is going to just go for Shadow Force again. Unfortunately, we don't have any normal types on this team. Um, I wanted to win with this. Damn. All right. I had no idea that went through Protect. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys. That's why I clicked it. Uh, we'll just go into... I think just go into Venomoth and sack it. Uh, we have no need for it anymore. It's going to get Shadow Forced anyway. And then we just need to go into something that's faster than this, I guess. Um, or Aegislash is fine. Because the only way he's hitting Aegislash is with Shadow Force. And that's not going to knock me out at all. So what I'm going to do is SD. And if he lets me get up two SDs, that's very bad for him. He actually just goes for Judgment. So that's good. Uh, we are going to get that, uh, that SD off. And I have no reason not to Swords Dance again. I'm just going to get up to full, honestly. I'm going to go up to plus six. Maybe Aegislash is getting the thumbnail. That'd be nice. He's going to go into Groudon. He's going to get Poisoned. And I kind of want to calc this, actually. Let's uh, let's bring up a damage calc right here. Let's let you guys see it by clicking Inspect Element. And uh, we're going to do... Take away this blue, thank you. Aegislash. How do you spell Aegislash? Oh, no. Oh, no. I've never spelled this Pokemon's name. Okay, there we go. Aegislash. Um, Ubers, 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 Ubers. Well, let's just go Max Attack Adamant. 252. Uh, Adamant Nature, plus four Shadow Sneak to a Groudon, Primal Groudon. Uh, let's see, Groudon, Primal, Uber's Primal Support, Shadow Sneak, wow, what? <laughs> it only does 34 to 40? Are you serious? That's insane. Uh, and I think we die to his attack. So I'm just going to King Shield here as he is going to go for the uh, Precipice Blades. We can live that, though, so what I'm actually going to do is go for Iron Head right here. If he doesn't have a fire move, I think we win. He actually misses his Precipice Blades, so very unfortunate for my opponent. That wouldn't have knocked me out, though. Uh, we have insane defense when we're in blade form. Uh, we're just going to go for the Sneak right here, knock out his Groudon. Uh, should his uh, Kyogre come in, I will protect on the first turn to get into, uh, into shield form. He's actually going to go into Darkrai. We're just going to Sneak here, knock this thing out easily easily knock this out and uh, now he's sitting with a toxic spike and stealth rocks up on his side so I really like that Venomoth set that's very innovative for this tier that's really cool and uh, he's just gonna go into Arceus this is gonna get annihilated by a shadow sneak goodbye and uh, then we will I'm not gonna waste time with Kyogre I'm just gonna shadow sneak it honestly at this point if he would have gone straight into it like as his first mon then I might have uh, King shielded, but now I'm just gonna attack this thing. It might even go down. It does. There we go All right, so we're able to knock out Kyogre and that is GG my friend uh, He did say hurry up so I'm a little ticked off, but no, I'm, I'm kidding guys. I'm not ticked off 
just gonna jump into the next one and we already have what two wins i think that's two wins three maybe three i'm not sure i've lost count anyway team's working out pretty well it's cool man I, I like ubers it's it's the least restrictive tier you can use literally anything you want uh and my opponent has oh my god that is a super hyper offense scary team right there that's probably uh lead deoxys attack with focus sash scarf zekrom mega mawile behind this groudon that you can't see uh primal groudon probably offensive uh dragon dance rayquaza i would assume and just life orb or uh, i don't know uh, Skyman is just annoying in general. It's very hard to deal with. Uh, hopefully he has the Air Slash set though, so that Aegis Slash can come through. But I'm just gonna lead off with, um, which Pokemon can take a hit the best. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with Venomoth here, I think. Or do I lead with Groudon? I'm gonna lead Venomoth. And he's gonna lead with his Shaman. Okay, so that's a little bit annoying because he can Air Slash us immediately, like right off the bat which is really, really obnoxious. Um, let's go into Aegislash, because we can take it. If he goes for Leech Seed, that's awesome. Just goes for the Air Slash, that's fine. We are leftovers. Uh, I will just click Iron Head here. If he wants to go into Groudon, that's fine. He's going to go for Leech Seed and allow me to Iron Head him, which is pretty big. That's going to do a nice chunk of damage. And I don't know if he wants to risk Air Slashing right here. I mean, he doesn't really lose anything by going for it, uh, in theory. How much did that Iron Head do? Now let's let's just calc that. Let's calc Iron Head. Iron Head versus Shaman Sky. Uh, let's say it was uh, Uber Sub Seed. Iron Head does 57 to 68. This thing runs 388 speed. It's max speed, so I can't mess around with it. Um, I'm not gonna stay in here. There's no way I'm staying in. I'm gonna go straight into Groudon. Scare this thing. Uh, as he's probably just gonna air slash honestly uh, He's gonna sub okay, so very uh, interesting play from my opponent. I Don't want to lose the skyman man. He's gonna go for leech cd. He's actually gonna miss that turn I'm gonna get up my rocks, which are very very nice break the sash on the deoxys attack get 25% off on this annoying Rayquaza We are just gonna go for lava plume right here as he's gonna go for air slash and miss again Wow, okay very unlucky normally uh, shaman the Pokemon that uh, flinches everything to death uh, I'm just gonna go back and age slash now as he doesn't have his seeds up and we're taking nothing from that he's uh he's gonna risk getting iron headed right here if he keeps doing that and uh we are gonna get flinched i'm just gonna king shield on this turn he is leftovers so he is gaining back some health um i'm assuming he might actually go for seeds here so this might have been the wrong play because seeds hit through king shield um what i'm gonna do now now i'm just gonna keep iron heading honestly as it's it's a shame that we still change forms even though we flinch i'm assuming he's gonna go for uh leech seed here but he does just go for air slash all right we actually break through that's nice all right cool and now we can shadow sneak this thing and knock it out awesome okay so and we still have our age of slash around i'm assuming Groudon's gonna come in here he actually chooses to go into mawile not exactly sure why because i can just king shield on this thing he's actually going to switch out into Groudon and let me get leftovers which is also very nice very nice of my opponent right there uh, I can see uh, Deancey putting in a lot of work against this team once this thing is gone or weakened severely. Uh, I think I can just go hard Latios here on this thing as he's going to go for Stealth Rocks. That's fine. Uh, we can just go for a Psy Shock as he's probably going to switch out in a Mawile, which makes sense. But this thing is not the bulkiest Pokemon in the world. As you can see, that took 43%. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. We're going to go hard into Groudon. We can take either of this thing's stabs. We resist them both. And he's probably just going to Mega right here. He is. And he's going to go for SD. Okay, so... Do I play around a Sucker Punch? I don't really want to. No. <laughs> I'm just going to go for, uh, for a Lava Plume right here. It hits everything on his team. Gets a Burn Chance on a lot of things. He goes for Sucker. That does absolutely nothing. We are going to knock out his Mawile right there. Uh, yet another thing was that was kind of annoying to Deancey. Didn't allow me to Mega Evolve, really. Uh, he's gonna go into Rayquaza. We do have the Stone Edge for this, uh, so if he tries to set up, then yeah, okay, he has, he's got Dragon Ascent. He's gonna lose some uh, some HP there from the Life Orb, and I think we're just gonna go into Deancey and get off our Mega here. And I really want a Diamond Storm to catch the uh, the Primal Groudon, because like Protect is so obvious. I might even just stay in regular to take the the potential Earthquake. Yeah, I'm going to stay in regular. He's going to surf and he's going to crit us. Okay, so that's unfortunate because that wouldn't have killed. But 
That's all right. Um, we can go into Latios now. I think we're still okay, though. I think we're still fine. Because we can just... Uh, Draco right here, I think, is fine. Well, Slyshock knocks it out from this range. He's going to go for E-Speed, get off a little more damage. That's fine. We still have our Latios intact. And I think what I want to do is win with Arceus. How much does this thing... Wait, is this... Yeah, it's very fast. Wow. Okay. So we won't be able to get off a Defog right here, unfortunately. Uh, which is kind of what I wanted to do. I wanted to pass boosts into Arceus. Uh, but I'm just going to go for a Draco Meteor. He is going to go for Knock Off and Knock Us Out. He should know that Aegislash knocks him out with a, uh, with a Shadow Sneak. So I'm curious to see if he's actually going to stay in here just to knock me off. Because if I get rid of this thing, then Arceus just wins. Because he doesn't know what kind of Arceus I am yet. Um, can we take... Can Arceus take the hit? It should be able to, right? Arceus ground, where are you? There you are. Uh, special sweeper versus Deoxys attack. All out attacker. Cycle boost does 81 to 95, so we can actually live that. So I'm just going to go for a sneak here. He is going to switch out into his Groudon, which is the correct play. But I can keep this. Sack Venomoth right here. And keep this in the back. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep this in the back. He's going to go for Plume. That's easily going to be able to knock us out. But now I can go into Arceus uh, and just go for a Judgment. I'll be able to knock out anything on his team. We are faster than this Groudon. This Judgment is extremely powerful. Uh, and it will be able to take out any of his members right now. Unless he's Air Balloon Zekrom. So, yeah. He was sub seed Shaman, man. That thing actually put in work. Actually, his Rayquaza put in the most work. I didn't expect Surf, honestly. I didn't expect him to stay in. That was the weird thing. He goes hard into Zekrom, actually, which is interesting, uh, because we're going to knock this thing out. And now I think I just go Aegislash, right? Is that my play? Or do I just stay in and play off the roll? Because Life Orb, Max Special Attack, Naive Nature, Psycho Boost does 95 max. So if he knocks me out right here, I lose. But can the blade even take the hit? I don't think it can. That's the funny thing. Not the blade. Uh, Aegislash. Can Aegislash even take the hit? Because um, we don't have a defensive investment. We are adamant nature. Uh, Psycho boost does 41 to 48. So yes, we can. We know he's life orb. I really want to just go in Aegislash. But then, the thing is, I don't knock out his Groudon. Unless I pull a double. No, I think the play is just the Judgment. He's going to go for the Psycho Boost. He's going to get a, yet another crit. So that's really annoying. Uh, as we're going to go for... Is this Groudon Toxic? No, it's not. All right. Well, that's annoying. Uh, my opponent gets two crits. He's just going to go for the knockoff and knock us out. He's not going to even let me Swords Dance. So that's very, uh, very annoying. Uh, the Crit Surf, of course, definitely mattering. Uh, because we were not even mega We would have knocked out his Rayquaza earlier and not lost our Deancey, which would have kind of uh, put us back in the game. We would have had an extra Pokemon to hit his, uh, his Groudon with. I mean, if he got the high roll there, he was going to knock us out anyway. But this is going to be the last one, guys. Uh, my opponent has the Annoying Core of Ho and Arceus, probably normal, uh, as well as... Wait a minute, haven't I seen this team before? I'm pretty sure I've seen this team before somewhere. Anyway, I think just leading with uh, Deancey is fine. As my opponent is going to lead with Darkrai, this is a free Protect right here. As uh, He should switch into Kyogre, but I'm not going to risk that. Because if he Dark Voids this, it's bad. He gets Magic Bounced. Um, actually, no, he doesn't get Magic Bounced. But he can't knock me out, so I'm just going to go for a Moon Blast. Uh, he doesn't realize that I'm Magic Bounced, I guess. Uh, and he's going to lose his Darkrai there at turn 1. So we did lose a game this live, but we should be able to pull it back and win this one, I think. I just need rocks up. Like, rocks are extremely important against him. Uh, and as long as I have Aegislash, Slash, I shouldn't lose to his, uh, to his Xerneas. He goes Ho-Oh, which is interesting. I'm just going to fire off a Diamond Storm. Uh, as we do connect and knock out his ho -Oh, And we even get a defense boost. So I don't really understand him sacking his Ho-Oh there. When he has a, a Primal Kyogre. I, I don't know if it's Primal or not, but I'm assuming it is. Uh, he's just going to go straight into Lugia. Lugia, which doesn't do too much to me. I'm going to go for the Moon Blast to break its, uh, he, he just magic, he just toxics me. I, I don't think he's understood the gist of, of magic bounce just yet. And we're just going to go for, uh, 
for a uh, diamond storm right here. He's gonna go for surf. It's not gonna be able to do enough to us. We are gonna go for the diamond storm. That is going to nearly be enough. And he's actually faster than us, which is interesting. Uh, he's, yeah, he can be, but that's that's really weird that he is. I'm gonna go for protect right here because I don't lose anything. Uh, even if he roosts, it's fine. And he's just gonna go for surf repeatedly. And I think I'm just gonna go into Groudon now. On his surf, uh, he will be able to take it, obviously, because of uh, Desolate Land. And, uh, yep, that doesn't hit us at all. Thank you. Goodbye, Lugia. Big threat gone. And I think that, well, I mean, E-Killer's still there. We can't, uh, we can't ignore E-Killer. He goes into Kyogre, it is Primal, uh, as expected. But, like I said before, we have a check to this. Not necessarily a counter, because it could have Ice Beam. But, uh, Latios is definitely the best play here. All the, all, all the time, because of Soul Dew. As he does just go for Surf, that's only going to do 34% to us. And we are going to go straight for the Grass Knot right here. It'll be able to do a lot to anything on his team. It's almost a knockout on Kyogre. He's going to go for the Ice Beam. It's not going to do enough to us. Like I said, we're not a counter, but we are a check. Uh, as we will go for the Psy Shock here, it hits anything that switches in the hardest. As he's going to go for Protect to see if we're uh, choiced or not. I'm just going to go for a another Psy Shock right here. And I think, uh, I think Aegislash should be able to win this game from here. Uh, if he goes Arceus, I'm just clicking Draco Meteor. I'm not even hesitating because that thing is a threat uh, if it Swords Dances. So I'm going to force him to attack me. He actually goes Xerneas. Uh, on this, I'm just going to Psy Shock. We do have Sashed, um, sashed uh, Venomoth in the back as well. So I'm not too scared of this thing Geomancing up on me. Uh, and we do have Aegislash, of course. So I'm just going to go for another Psy Shock. He should just Moonblast here in theory. And I don't think this thing actually gets anything to hit Aegislash with. I could be wrong. Uh, I would have to bring up Xerneas' set, but I think just going Venomoth is the play. I'm not sure, though. Uh, No, I think Aegislash is always the play. And just click Iron Head, as it will be able to uh, to eliminate this thing. Like, if he still had Ho-Oh, Darkrai, Kyogre around, like, Aegislash wouldn't be a huge problem to him right now, but, like, it is. It clearly is right now. And uh, as long as that uh, E-Killer doesn't... Uh, yeah, that doesn't hit me, dude. Um, as long as E-Killer doesn't set up too much, we should be good to go. As he is just going to forfeit. So that's going to wrap it up for this live, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, it's the first time we're doing this tier, and I think we did pretty well, uh, considering. And uh, yeah, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Ciao.